discipline so hard for you. You see, you have had way too much instant gratification. You have a way too happy life to make discipline easy. Now I'm going to explain to you what I mean by this right now. Let's imagine here is your happiness baseline. And here is the threshold that it takes for you to be happy. So from here to here, it takes to be happy. Everything below this point, everything between this and this is being unhappy. And everything between and everything above this is being happy. Let's imagine something. You start off right here and here is the gym. And then you, be, you are super happy um, by being at the gym because you only know this. This is your happiness baseline. This is where happiness starts. And the gym is right above that. So at the beginning, gym is fun. Then you watch Instagram, which is in relation to this right here. And therefore, because you adapt to this being your new standard and gym being down here, because gym didn't move, right? Gym doesn't get more fun because you watch Instagram reels. Because gym is down here, gym is not fun for you and everything that's not fun takes discipline. So what I'm really going to teach to you today isn't how to have more discipline. It is how to make your life take less discipline by leading not an easier life, but a life that is more fun through a dopamine detox. Because what we need to do isn't, we, we don't need to make this more fun because then the addiction cycle is only going to upcycle and at some point you will not be able to keep up. What we need to do is we need to reset your baseline happiness because you've adapted to this and therefore this down here seems horrible to you and you need to you need to force yourself every single day to do it because but if we get your happiness simply back down here then gym will be fun again. The principle that I just described to you is called instant gratification. It's when one side of the happiness barometer, which is your instant happiness, goes up, but the other part, the parts that used to be happy for you, don't go up. So this is in this way. Right here is your happiness baseline. And Jim is here. And now you watch Instagram and your baseline happiness goes to here. This is instant gratification. Delayed gratification is you go to the gym, you get ripped, the gym becomes more fun, then your baseline happiness is better because you're also ripped throughout the whole day and you can walk around shirtless and take pics and, and, get, and get the attention of more girls, right? So your life gets more happy. Then you go to the gym more because you see the benefits of it. Then you become even more jacked. Then gym is more fun. Then life is more fun. And this is how delayed gratification works. So now I hope I got your attention and I hope that you also have realized that the delayed gratification part is the way more healthy one and the better one to follow. Because delayed gratification is gonna onset later as it is the world, right? It's delayed gratification. You delay the gratification to the future, but your delayed gratification won't disappear when you throw away your phone, when you press the off button on your television when you stop watching porn. Delayed gratification doesn't stop then. Delayed gratification basically stops when you start instant gratification. Instant gratification stops when you turn off the your phone, your PlayStation, your Xbox, your porn. Um, when you turn the thing that instant gratification stems from off, then your life is shit because then your regular life is here your life on Instagram basically is here and you turn it off and then your happiness goes from here to here and that fall feels horrible. This is why your life feels so shit, not because you lack purpose, but because you simply have adapted to something that is more fun than your regular day. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically repent to your regular life. You're going to spend more time in the real world and less time in the virtual world. And this we're going to do by way of dopamine detox. And let's not lie to ourselves. We all know what to do when someone tells us do a dopamine detox. It's such a spread theory that if you simply stop doing the bad habits, you automatically are doing a good habit by way of stopping to do the bad habits. 
If you don't know what it is, you basically delete all social media that you have, all of it, even YouTube. I would rather have you not here, not get your comment, not get your subscription, not get your click, not get your watch time, but get you to be happy and healthy because this is my purpose. This is my purpose to rescue young men from the slavery that's going on by way of social media because I genuinely do believe that social media makes you a prisoner of it. And I see it as my purpose to save you from that. And the first way you do this is you start meditation. You can start meditation at any time. It doesn't matter when you start. It just matters that you do it every single day for the rest of your life or for that matter, for as long as you want the benefits. You're going to get the benefits of meditation for as long as you do meditation, obviously. And this doesn't go to say that you can only lead a happy and healthy life when you meditate, but it certainly takes away the discipline aspect of most things because you see discipline is in your head. It's never a body thing. It's rarely a thing of, oh, this is so painful that you want to stop um, doing something with discipline because I do a lot of painful things, but I don't need really discipline for it. Discipline is always in your head. It's the questions in your head that you ask yourself. Why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why am I not with my girlfriend? Those are the things that make you have discipline and that take discipline to answer. It takes discipline to answer these simple questions. Why am I here? And meditation will give you the shot to, in your head, answer those questions that your subconscious is asking you. How do you do meditation? You sit down. You take a deep breath and you simply focus on not thinking about anything at all. That's it. That's it. That's fucking it. You don't have to do fucking visualization during doing it. You simply have to focus on thinking nothing. Simply breathe deeply and you simply allow your head to not think about anything at all. And if you have a thought, just go back. Just go back to the breath. And you will make progress with every single minute you meditate today. And I just found this analogy very cool. Every minute you meditate today is an hour of video games, of instant gratification that you did yesterday that you will delete through that. So just see it as a, as a sort of deleting process, a deleting of your old gamer sort of loser mindset. That's meditation. The second thing you do on on like um, on like a dopamine detox, except um, the the deleting social media aspect is gratitude journaling. And gratitude journaling works like this: you do you you open a page on a book, and then you basically write down in that book, I am grateful. And then one thing you're grateful for during the day. And the way you do this is you think of a thing you're grateful for. And then while you write, I am grateful for this thing, then you think, why am I grateful for this? And this will then lead you to the insight of what you value, what makes you a grateful person. And that will then give you the key to doing that thing more and to being more grateful for your life in general which will then help you um, think about to, to this evening, I'm doing gratitude journaling. And I want to write down that I'm grateful for doing this one set because I know that I value discipline and that I value strength. And if I can write this down, I can further manifest. Yes, I do value this. Yes, I am grateful for this. Yes, I did this. And you can be so proud of your work and grateful that God made it work. And this is always the thing that I teach my students when they ask me, what should the mindset of a gratitude journalist be? Or some form of that question. And I say, be proud that you were able to do the work and be grateful that God made it work. So you can be proud in your head, but in that book, we're not gonna write about pride. We're gonna write about the things we're grateful that God made them work. The third habit of uh, the monk mode, dopamine detox, deleting your old gamer brain sort of thing is going to nature. Every 
time you go into nature, you can learn something from it. I yesterday learned that the rain is actually a very good thing and that we should be grateful for rain because rain is water and water is life and rain is free. So rain is a free gift of life. And we can translate this into all the bad things that happened in our lives. So we can see that even the bad things are a great gift of life from God. And therefore, we can be even grateful for the bad things, which makes us undestroyable. So get into nature. This advice that I've given you today will, of course, only work if you implement it. Because if you don't implement it, nothing's going to work for you. And I hope I sh I've shown you the things you need to do in a way that really makes you do them. And that makes this video the video you finally start your journey on self-improvement. If you liked something about the video that I did different than usual, and if you're a regular subscriber of mine, you can write that in the comments and you can say I, made, I did something good or you can say I did something bad. If you want daily videos like this, you can go and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to boost this video for the algorithm a little bit, you can do that. I don't know how to do that, obviously. <laughs> Look at my channel, man. I get like three views per video. Come on. I, I don't know how the algorithm works. So if you know how that works, uh, you can simply like activate the algorithm a little bit for me. And then this video will be shown to your younger self. So to the version of yourself that didn't know what you now know about yourself. Now have a nice day. Live in Christ and master your mind.